the circle track analyzer lets you start a new record based on a current record. For example, we are currently looking at record 23. If you want to start a new record based on this record, meaning most everything from this record will be carried over, make record 23 the current record, then click on File, New, and here you can see what the new record will be. It will be record 25, today's date and time, description of the run, you can carry it over, pick something else you've entered, or type in something new. You can also select to blank out certain sections of, of specs. For example, tire temps. They are not likely to be exactly the same from this test to the new test. Uh, lap times might be something else that you want to blank out. By blanking them out, you make sure that you don't carry over numbers that are meaningless. You could check all, uncheck all, select to blank out all the tires, then you can hear, see everything's disabled here, meaning they will all be, all the tire specs will be blanked out in the new test. But let's say we just want tire temps and lap times to be blanked out. That means everything else that was recorded will be carried over. You could save this combination of check marks so that next time you can just click on recall and these check marks will be filled in. If you are linking to another vehicle file, this, in this case the circle track analyzer, it tells you what file name is linked to the circle track analyzer. And here you can select to carry over all the specs or carry over all the specs but update them before you jump to the new test. For right now, we'll leave specs as they are. Oh, something else that I should point out. You can see here there's a note down here in red that the new record will copy data from record 23, which is not the latest record. And what that means is typically you want to carry over things from the latest record, the very latest record. That means that everything you've done to your car up to that point should be in your latest record, and then the new record lets you go from there. So let's say that's a good point. You're right. Let's go back and cancel what we're doing. Let's go back and click on File. Oop. Cancel that. Make 24 the latest record. Then click on File. New. You see now it's saying everything's fine. Again, we go blank out tire temps and lap times. And everything looks good. We're going to, oh, let me show you this. View comments. Here's the comments being carried over. You can see the useless stuff we've just put in here. But uh, you can change, view the comments, decide to change them now. Or you could blank out different comments here by selecting that. But we're going to make a new record now. Okay. Do you want to create a record based on this? Let's say yes, we do. Okay. Here's the new record, 25. And let's see if it blanked out. You can see all the tire temps here are blanked out. Track results. Your lap data is blanked out also, but it carried over the weather and it carried over the handling ratings here. So that is how you start a new record in the circle track or in the circle track logbook.